Hey y'all, I'm Nikisha Wise and I'm back with another video. And if you're new to my channel, welcome here. And if you are if you've been here, welcome back. Okay? And y'all today I want to tell y'all how to pray. I know sometimes some people have may struggle with prayer. Even Christians, you know, we struggle we can we can struggle with prayer sometimes because you know I guess it's just you know something that a lot of us go through sometimes until we get in the rhythm of our prayer and prayer life you know sometimes some people may be feeling some kind of way some days where they don't feel as strong you know strong enough to pray for themselves which is why it's good to have a good support system um, and a spiritual family that way if you fall um, in prayer that they can lift you up and pray for you when you can't pray for yourself okay so I'm about to um, tell y'all the ways the way that I pray and it's been very effective it had it helps me a whole lot to actually be, feel closer to the father and maybe to help you as well I hope that it helps you as well okay um the first thing I would say is to like if you can get you a quiet space where you can con you can connect with your father without any distractions or noise or stuff and stuff like that if you can do that you know but if you can't the Lord also answers prayers and noise. He can still hear you. He can hear your thoughts and everything. So it's it's not it's not the end of the world if you can't find a quiet space. I know um, some situations are definitely different. So you know I I had plenty of my prayers answered through loud loud noises. So and my thoughts answered through noise. So it's still effective. Okay. Um. You can also pray anywhere. A lot of times I'll be in the grocery store praying, y'all. And um, a lot of times I speak out loud. Even when I'm alone and probably people be looking at me like, you know, she talking to herself. But I don't I don't care about that, y'all, because I know what I'm doing. I, I know who I'm talking to, and it's my inner self. <laughs> and it's the Father, so that don't matter. You know, you probably get those looks, but it don't matter, y'all. So, yeah. Also feel your prayer when you are praying feel the words that are coming out of your mouth and feel the thoughts that you are having put fill them in your heart you know and mean it when you pray back in the day I used to my I told my grandmother I said mama I did mean it she said you have to feel it in your heart and when she said that I you know even as a kid I, I tried to feel it in my heart and it worked you know so it just Sometimes it just takes practice um, with your prayer life. And it, and it does take practice because you are building your relationship and your spiritual your spiritual growth with the Father, with the heavenly realm. So, yeah. And if you cry during your prayer, because it just depends on what you're praying about, what you're praying for. I don't know why, but them tears, it seems like it make the, the Lord and his angels move even faster. Um, it's something about him not liking to see his children hurt, you know. And each time that I've ever cried and prayed, y'all, it's like, bam. It's like, it was just like that, you know. So, <laughs> it wasn't on purpose, but it, it just ha so happened to go like that. So, okay. Alright. And make sure that you have faith in whatever it is that you're praying about, you know. Pray when you When you pray, you give it over to God. Sometimes you may have to pray multiple times for that specific thing. It just depends on what it is because there are different kind of prayers. You could be praying away, you know, praying that, um, praying off evil. You could be praying for a specific thing, you know, to come into your life. You could be praying for your finances. You could be praying for anything. But you definitely, that faith is really what's going to kick it in because you have to believe that it's going to happen. You have to visualize yourself already with it and that's that really helps y'all you visualize yourself already with whatever it is that you want or whatever it is that you want away um usually whenever i pray i picture myself floating on top of a angel or a white bird and we and i picture myself floating into the into heaven and so once i reach heaven I picture myself up there and in front of God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. So once I do that, I picture 
this is in the middle of my praying i pictured the lord coming up to me touching my head touching my heart and just just giving me a big hug that's what i picture and i picture him smiling to me and me smiling to him and i don't that just helps so much y'all that's that's my that's how i do it you know when i pray and don't forget to um see when i when i start my prayer off with lord in the name of jesus i started off with lord in the name of jesus there is power in you saying that and when i say lord in the name of jesus i automatically go into thank you lord for this thank you lord for that i just give him thanks before i even if i have anything to ask sometimes i just pray to say thank you or i just pray for continued protection because i already know that he's protecting me so i just can you know pray for continued protection and thank him for um sending his angels to protect me and guide me as well i thank him for the things that he did do and that he didn't do and you know and it always works it always makes me feel i feel a whole lot better and um you know and so once i once i um have visualized myself in front of the creator i also you know sit for a while and bask in that in that energy like because if i'm feeling that energy on the inside it's definitely around me um the lord also said that he will he will send somebody from the spirit realm while you're praying to help you pray too so y'all it's beautiful it's beautiful y'all so um i also i picture beautiful things around me when i pray i picture like a light around me i picture angels around me i just picture everything beautiful around me when i pray and it works y'all okay and also you can write these things down start if you are a beginner start by writing your prayers down make sure you put lord in the name of jesus if you're talking to you know jesus or if you're talking to god you can say dear god and then start your prayer with lord in the name of jesus thank you for this thank you for that and then you go into your prayer and what it is that you may or may not need or want keep in mind the lord already know what you need but it's, it's great to still build that relationship with him therefore you know it's creating even stronger bonds with spirit so yeah and uh let's see i think that is all i gotta say for today i hope this helps somebody i really do hope this helps somebody to get some kind of a you know clue on how to start your prayers and how to pray because i at one point did not know how to pray i was like lord i don't even know how to pray how i'm gonna do this how i'm gonna do that but the lord showed me how to pray and it's different for everybody but this i recommend you know majority of people do start off with lord in the name of jesus okay you acknowledging the whole trinity when you do that basically all right and you calling on the heavenly realm and the spirit to help that's what you're doing and don't forget to just talk to him randomly out the blue i do that all the time <laughs> all right y'all well y'all have a blessed day i was trying to um beat the sun from going down but you know hopefully y'all can still see me all right y'all have a blessed day blessed night and a blessed week blessed weekend blessed month okay all right i love y'all okay bye bye